morning. Crystal, good morning to you. Zoe, good morning. It was amazing. Thank you for asking, Crystal. It was a, it was a wonderful experience and uh, I see nothing but blessings and a beautiful journey ahead. Shelly, good morning to you. How are you, sister? Hallelujah. I'm going to go ahead and get our reading of the scripture in this morning and then we'll go into prayer i'm going to read from psalms 111 this morning a beautiful beautiful uh song that david wrote he said i hallelujah i want to express publicly before his people my heartfelt thanks to god for his mighty miracles all who are thankful should ponder them with me for his miracles demonstrate his honor his majesty and his eternal goodness who can forget the wonders he performs deeds of mercy of grace he gives food to those who trust him he never forgets his promises he has shown his great power to his people by giving them the land of Israel though it was the home of many nations living there all he does is just and good and all his laws are right for they are formed from the truth and goodness and stand firm forever he has paid a full ransom for his people David was prophesying of Jesus now they are always free to come to YHWH what a holy and awe inspiring name that is how can a man be wise? Listen to what David said. The only way to begin is by reverencing God. For growth in wisdom comes from obeying his laws, praise his name forever. To everyone on here this morning, we want to thank God for allowing you the opportunity to, to wake up again this morning. That, and again of itself, is the Lord's doing. And we're going to pray this morning and believe and ask God that he continues to move in our lives. So if you have a request, if you have a, 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 a challenge, a trial that you're going through, all we ask is that you put it in the chat and we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to have his way. We believe by faith that the God of all gods, the King of all kings, the CEO of the universe is in full control. We believe by faith that his spirit lives on the inside of us. Good morning, Kiki. We believe by faith that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We believe by faith that no weapon formed against us will prosper. We believe by faith that it is in him that we live, we move, we have our being. We believe by faith that all of his promises are yes and amen. We believe by faith that he is for us and not against us. Father, we come thanking you this morning for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Good morning, Sister Monica. We thank you this morning, Lord, that you've given us a new day, a wonderful day to serve you and worship you. We thank you, Lord, that there's nobody like you, that we get an opportunity to, to serve the creator of the universe, the CEO of the entire world. And it's a privilege, it's an honor to be a part of who you are and what you are. I ask this morning, good morning, Brother Brian, that you protect us, keep us, watch over us, help us, guide us, love on us, provide your mercy and your grace, hide us. Yeah, Lord, hide us this morning from every scheme, every attack, every strategy of the devil. Lord, hide us this morning under your wings, under your arms. 
Lord, hide us with a shield of protection. Lord, hide us with a hedge. Lord, hide us with a 50-foot fence. Lord, that the devil can't even see as he's roaming the earth, as him and his demons are walking this earth. Lord, hide us. Hide our children, oh Lord. Hide us. Please, Father, that's our prayer this morning is that you would keep us safe, Lord, from all hurt, harm, danger, accidents, tragedies, disasters, devastations, mishaps, misunderstandings, arguments, fights. Lord, hide us. Hide us, O oh Lord, from strife and manipulation and the tactics of the enemy, legalism and bondage and slavery. Lord, hide us from sickness and disease, migraines and headaches, rejection, and abandonment. Hide us this morning, Lord. Oh, hide us from the hatred of the world, the wickedness of the world. Yes, the Jezebel spirits of this world, Lord. Hide us today, Lord, from spells and voodoos and curses and, and every kind of hex that the enemy may try to use with witches and warlocks. Hide us this morning, Lord. Hide us from pride and from envy and narcissism lord hide us this morning from anxiety and depression and apathy hide us i want to be hid i want to be hid by you lord good morning trina hide us hide us what do you want to be hid from this morning put it in the chat and that's what we're going to pray this day for you and your family if you want to be hid by the lord you want to be protected by the lord just put it in the chat. I'm going to start screenshotting. That's what we're going to pray this morning. <laughs> I feel my, 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 my time with the Lord, our prayer time with the Lord is always unique and different. This morning, I hear the Lord saying, I will hide you. Mm. I will hide you. What do you want to be hid from physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, ethically? Put it in the chat. I'm going to start screenshotting. I'm going to just start it doing some drive-bys i'm gonna start doing some quick hits father hide ebony from bad influences evil influence every evil influence in ebony's life we bind you in the name of jesus lord hide her jesus name kiki wants to be hidden lord protect her from her mom protect her from all the evil that's out there lord protect her from from things that come out of people's mouths and and just the lies and the tactics of the enemy devil you are a liar this morning hide kiki jesus lord hide pamela johnson lord from drugs alcohol depression and grief in jesus name name devil you are a liar i come against you right now i stand against you you have no authority you have no power zero Get off our porch this morning. We will not stand for it in the name of Jesus. And I speak the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost to begin to manifest in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. We pray for Sister Angela Watkins, her relationship with Bobby Lord. Hide them, hide them from divorce, hide them from separation, hide them from arguing and fighting. Holy Spirit evil spirits of contention and strife and lord we speak the peace of god over their life sister monica deception lord hide her hide her every deceiving tongue every lying tongue every manipulative tongue in jesus name lord sister elizabeth lopez we thank you lord for her testimony last week lord not having any forms of cancer or tumors continue to hide her lord give her the health that she continues to ask for Protect her in Jesus' name. Lord, hide Sister Rhonda Carr in Jesus' name from anything that can overtake or damage her family. Devil, you are a liar. No weapon formed against the curse will prosper. In Jesus' name. Yes, I like that. Keep your protection on us, Lord. Stress and worries and financial shortcomings, Lord, hide us. Brother Brian said, will you please, Lord, keep us from the doubt that the enemy tries to send on us. Lord, keep us from our fears. Keep us from our worries. Lord, put us under your arms. Hide us financially, Lord, from the attacks of poverty, the attacks of delay, the attacks of, of being short on our bills. In Jesus' name. Duvan said, hide us from the attacks on character assassination. My daughter, because she's broken and miserable on my character and 
my daughter because she's broken and miserable. Lord, Lord, that's not who you are. And I know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. Lord, I know it doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good. But it's for our good. And we're praying for her daughter, Lord, that you continue to deliver her, protect her, hide her this morning, Lord. Hide Sister Devan from all attacks, all weapons formed, every strategy, everything that's been devised against her. I bind you this morning in the name of Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. At the name of Yeshua, demons tremble. At the name of Yeshua, sickness trembles. At the name of Yeshua, pain has to chill. Headaches and migraines must go away. At the name of Jesus, at the name of Jesus, at the name of Yeshua, devil, you are a liar. Trina said, hide me from unbelief. And for healing for Ezra, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, hide Ezra, hide Trina, hide that entire family under your wings, under your arms. Put a 50-foot fence up around them, Lord, that no enemy, no weapon formed against them will prosper, Lord. I come against a spirit of unbelief. I come against spirits of doubt. I come against skepticism. I come against spirits of disappointment and, and, and distrust, mistrust. And I speak hope. I speak belief. I speak trust. I speak the faith of God in Trina's life. Renee said, restoration on my family. Lord, hide them from depression and anxiety. Her kids, Lindsay, Daniel, and Zach. I agree with her. We all agree in the name of Yahshua. No weapon formed against Renee's family. Not today, not this week. Father, will you please hide them? From depression, hide them from anxiety, Lord. I come against that spirit of fear and worry and confusion. For God has not given us a spirit of confusion. He's not given us fear. He's not given us depression. He's not given us anxiety. He's not given us headaches. He's not given us pain. He's not given us worry. And this morning, we take authority in the name of Yeshua over all of that. And I speak the peace of God, the rest of God. Over Renee's family's life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All around. Yes. Thank Sister Ward Warrior. Thank you. Thank you. Sabib is for all around in Hebrew. All around us. Angels and angels and angels and more angels and more angels. Keep us. Hallelujah. Sam Marie, restoration for my husband, Lord. Every marriage as we prayed yesterday over Sam's marriage, Crystal's marriage, over every marriage represented this morning, devil, we take authority. We are taking back the keys of what you tried to destroy. I take back the keys of, of custody disputes. I take back the keys of arguing and fighting and strife, and I speak the rest of God. Do it again for me. Six seconds. David said, I meditated upon the Lord. What David was doing was just taking his time to think about how good he's been, how great he's been, how awesome he's been. There's no God like our God. There's no Savior like our God. There's no Deliverer like our God. There's no healer like our God. I want to be very, very respectful of the Holy Spirit right now. I want to hear what he's saying. And I want to do what he's asking us to do. Hallelujah. Did, it, did anyone wake up this morning with a headache? Did, did anyone wake up this morning with some disorientation? I'm sensing in the spirit. Monica said, I woke up with some sinuses. Rant said, yes, a headache. RJ, absolutely. 
Rance, I want to pray for you. And I want to pray for anybody else who, who's out there that, that woke up this morning a little disoriented. That's a spirit that we're going to bind. It has no power. Lord, we pray for Sister RJ this morning that you would protect her today. For everybody who has a long day at work, eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, a 30 minute lunch break, and then they're going to keep pushing them. She says, I'm, I'm doing it on four hours of sleep in Jesus name. Lord, I pray right now you give her the strength. Give everybody the strength today that they need to get through today. But give them physical, emotional, mental strength by your power and your spirit. May they be able to make sound decisions. Lord, may they be able to think critically. Lord, will you still give them innovative ideals and Lord, give them the strength they need. In Jesus' name, continue, Lord, to give us favor and success with supervisors and bosses and directors and colleagues. And in Jesus' name, I speak that over your life, RJ. And Brother Rance, here's what I want you to do. I want you to place one hand on your head. And we're going to pray for you. I need everybody praying for Brother Rance this morning who woke up with a headache. And Sister Monica, I want you to lay your hands on your nasal passages. Father, right now, in the name of Yeshua, we are believing by faith that you are all powerful, almighty. You are the healer. You are the resurrector. You are the one who is in full control. You, <laughs> you created us in your image. So, Father, if we look like you and shaped like you we sound like you possibly we're asking you to heal us because of your promises because of who you are i pray over brother rance this morning i pray for sister monica this morning i'm asking that your holy spirit right now flow move move through blood cells move through neurons and pathways move through sinus passages through nostrils lord move through airwaves Every cell in our bodies must come into alignment with the word of the Lord. Yeah, I'm going to speak life over us right now. I speak hope. I speak the power of the Holy Spirit for who the sun sets free is free indeed. That includes headaches and sinus, sinuses and arthritis and diabetes and heart disease and congestive heart failure. That includes issues seen. That includes uh, issues in our ankles and our knees that includes all pain all infirmity all sickness and I speak to headaches I speak to sinuses this morning and I tell you to get off the porch this attack will not end in pain this attack will not end in misery today and I speak the life of God I speak the hope of God I speak the resurrection power right now flowing through your body Monica you will breathe. You'll breathe. You're going to breathe well. And Father, I pray, I don't care how you choose to do it. Medicine. If you want to do it supernaturally, I speak the gift of healing. That's a gift. I speak the gift of healing. Over rants, over Monica, in Jesus' name. No sinuses formed against you will prosper. No headache formed against you will prosper. No arthritis formed against you will prosper. No heart disease formed against you will prosper. No diabetes formed against you will prosper. No high blood pressure formed against you will prosper. No fibromyalgia formed against you will prosper. No cramping formed against you will prosper. No abdominal issues formed against you will prosper. In the name of Yahshua, 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 Yahshua. Come on, come on. What else do we want to be healed of this morning? What other ailments are out there that the devil is trying to deceive you with? I'm trying to tell you, you're sick. You're always going to feel this way. You're not going to get better. Let's bind that spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity. Bring it to the altar. All sickness, disease, and infirmity. Please put it in the chat this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for your healing power. I'm thanking you right now in advance. I'm thanking you in advance, Lord, for being a healer. I thank you for healing rants. I thank you for healing Sister Monica. I thank you, Lord, for who you are and how you're doing it. In Jesus' name. For Sister Renee's emotional, mental clutter, 
We bind it. It has no power, Lord. Cut it off. Hide us. Hide us, Lord, in the name of Yahshua. In the name of Yahshua. Come on. Panic attacks, devil. You are a liar. I bind you. I speak the rest of God over everybody's life right now. Come on. What else are we dealing with physically? The, the gift of healing is in the room. I sense it. I feel it. Hmm. Come on. Who else? Who else? Bring it to the altar. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. All sickness, disease, and infirmity. Put it in the chat. Bring it to the altar. In Jesus' name. Healing is in the room. <laughs> Come on, few more, few more, few more. Come on. There's nothing impossible for God. For those who come to God must believe that he is God. He is the creator of all things and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The fact that you are getting up at 6 a.m. Central Time and seeking him is enough for God. It's enough for God. He, he knows you love him. And he loves you the same. You've abided in him and his word abides in you. You come to me, I'll come unto you. He's at the door knocking this morning. Come on, who else? Sickness, disease, and infirmity. Put it in the chat. I'm getting ready to speak a healing prayer. I believe that I do have the gift of healing. That's one of the gifts that Paul mentions in Corinthians chapter 12. And it's that gift that's spoken. It's the gift of faith along with the gift of healing that helps. The Bible says, confess your faults one to another. Bring your issues to each other so that you can be healed. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, of a holy man, of a, of a, of a saint that includes you. Availeth much. It has much power. Father, we come this morning again at your throne in front of you, humble. Kneel down in the spirit. We are humbled before you. you. We reverence you. We fear you, almighty God. We fear you in your allness. You're so awe-inspiring. We come this morning believing by faith, Lord, that you are a healer. We come believing by faith this morning, Lord, that nothing's impossible. We, we come this morning by faith knowing that you can take a mountain and move it wherever you want it to go. Lord, we come this morning by faith knowing that you can tell a fig tree shrivel up and die. Lord, we come by faith this morning believing that all power is yours. And right now we're asking for Sister Charlie's health and her anxiety, Lord, that you would heal calm her down give her peace give her rest that passes her understanding i come against that spirit that's a sickness of, of anxiety of fear of worry and depression i bind you in the name of jesus and i speak the healing power of god through sister charlie trina said numbness in her right arm i bind the spirit of numbness i speak proper blood flow through your arm and through your body and in the name of Yeshua right now may the power of the Holy Spirit flow through your arm flow through your hand in Jesus name Trina lift that arm up that's numb lift it up begin to worship the Lord with it lift it high Lord heal her completely 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 Sam said hi cortisol and rapid weight gain in the name of Yeshua cortisol you will come back down I speak to it yet yeah, by faith we have power some of you have the power of faith you have the the gift of faith the gift of healing and we speak to Sam's cortisol cortisol levels there will be no additional weight gain father I believe by faith that you are restoring 
You are balancing. In Jesus' name, right now, right now, devil, hands off, you spirit of sickness, you spirit of disease, you spirit of infirmity, you have no power in her life. Leave, devil, get off the porch. Not this morning, not this morning, not this morning. Hallelujah. Rance Walker, all anxiety, all anxiety in Jesus' name. Teddy, all anxiety, all fear, I take it. I take it under the authority of Jesus Christ and I'm throwing it away. Throwing it away. Peace, peace, just rest. God says, I have you. God said, all things are working together for good. You may not see it. You may not understand it, but be at rest. Just, just, just go over there and sit down and relax. The Lord says, I'll be with, I'll be with you. Just, just trust me. Deshay said she had neck pain. Every nerve in her neck, every muscle, I speak to it right now. Every tissue, every cell in her body, relax. Stop. Stop. I speak to your pain. Holy Spirit of God. Come on. I need everyone to just rest in the Lord right now. Deep breaths and allow the Holy Spirit to move. Father, I thank you for healing the chaise or Dasha. If I'm saying your name wrong, sister, forgive me. But that pain is going away. It won't stick around. It will not stick around in Jesus' name. Brenda, headaches, dizziness, anxiety. Devil, you are a liar. I come against dizziness. I come against disorientation. I come against migraines. I come against headaches. I come against anxiety. I come against the stresses and the triggers. And I speak the rest of God over your life, Brenda. Rest, peace, rest. Devil, no, 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 no. Lord, hide us, hide us, hide Brenda this morning. Fibromyalgia, Lord, hide Renee in the name of Jesus. I speak to fibromyalgia and tell you to stop. Just stop, stop. I speak the healing power of God over her life. I speak the healing spirit of God's power and resurrection over Renee's fibromyalgia right now. In Jesus' name, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Not a one. Jesus name Tumor on my spine I have had it for 22 years Devil you won't win Have you seen that Rance is standing And after he's done all the stand He's standing some more The full armor of God In Jesus name this will not be the end This will not be something that will hinder us In the name of Yeshua Speaking healing this morning over Christina's son, I speak health, I speak life, I speak hope. Over Elizabeth Lopez's thinning of her bones and her spine, Lord, strengthen her spine. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I know you and alone, you and you alone can thicken bones again. Man can't explain it. There's no science behind it. It's a miracle. That's also a gift of the Spirit. Miracles. The unnatural. Things that you can't explain. I speak that over your life, life, Elizabeth, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, over Derry's entire family that's being hit with a spirit of alcoholism. We bind spirits of addiction. We bind spirits of dependency. I come against depressants and antidepressants, street drugs, prescription drugs. Devil, you are a liar. Did you hear me? You spirit of rebellion, you spirit of disobedience and I speak the obedience of God I speak the love of God I speak the healing power of God over alcoholism neurons and pathways Lord reset this morning reset Lord renew our strength Lord may we mount up on wings like an eagle may we run and not be weary may we now in the name of Jesus healing me You're now, now we're praying the, the prayer of faith thank you for healing sister ginger of diabetes and Lord, reversing it. Nothing's impossible for you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I believe by faith, Lord, you'll give her the right diagnosis. You'll give her the right remedies. You'll show her through wisdom, through faith, Lord. You'll give her the right guidance to do right by her body. In Jesus' name, for Lord, the, the, the RA and the fibro, Lord, heal, deliver, set free. Heal, deliver, 
and set free and by the words that are coming out of my mouth I speak life to Ginger's body no weapon formed against you will prosper Ginger start thanking the Lord for his goodness <laughs> osteoarthritis in Jesus name healed no weapon it cannot be in the presence of God do you understand that when we're serious about who we believe in what we believe in that in this moment right now in this moment right now right now sickness and disease cannot stay it's it's just now the aftermath the devil did what he needed to do he tried to place his attack on your life but he's no longer around because we bound that devil this morning it cannot stick around he's gone yeah he was walking the earth he was roaming the earth and he attacked you and i'm speaking by faith this morning the attack is over now we're just dealing with the healing the aftermath the restoration of it the attack is over no more attacks devil no more attacks go roam the earth somewhere else all you evil spirits all you fallen angels i will not put up with it i will not stand for it i take authority over you i have more power than you we have more rank over you yeah we have more rank over the devils the enemies the fallen angels the principalities of darkness the thorns in our flesh the shadow of the valley of death i will not fear you i will not fear you in jesus name come on diverticulitis i bind you in the name of jesus no no i, I bind you every cell and sister johnny christine's stomach the lining if I understand that correctly, what diverticulitis is, I speak no more pain. I speak restoration right now. Sister Johnny, receive it by faith. The Holy Spirit is moving through your body right now. Ease up. Stop. Get off her porch. And I speak peace. I speak life into your lining, into your stomach health, into your abdominal health. In Jesus' name. Eating habits, Monica says. Lord, give us structure. Give us discipline give us discipline in portion control Lord give us discipline in sugar control in Jesus name I speak wisdom of God over our eating habits plantar fasciitis in Jesus name devil you will not and you cannot did you hear me you will not and you cannot have sister Sandra no no, I bind that spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity, plantar fasciitis, we call you out. And I speak hope, I speak life, I speak the resurrection power of God. Curling, rib pain, shifted rib makes it hard to move. Watch this, watch this is where my faith is. The gift of faith says, rib, get back in place. Lord, shift that rib back in place. By faith, Lord, I don't know how you're going to do it. Maybe when she sits back down, when she gets in her car, the way she lays down, Holy Spirit of God, move through her body. I come against a spirit of pain, aggravation. I come against discomfort. In the name of Yahshua, the name of Yahshua, the name of Yahshua. Oh, he's flowing this morning. The name of Yahshua. The name of Yahshua. Say his name for me. Come on. I need 30, all 33 of you saying his name together. Yahshua, Jesus, Jesus, Yahshua. Just the mention of his name. Yahshua. 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 <laughs> Yahshua. Yahshua. Yahshua 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 ah, It's power Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, come on Come on, I know you I know you feel it, I feel it I feel his power ah. Take over, take over, take over, Holy Spirit. Take over our minds, take over our bodies, take over our emotions, take over our mental, take over our health. 
Take over, take over, take over, take over. I'm going to keep moving here. We got 10 minutes. I'm going to hit these real quick. Hair loss, in Jesus' name, I bind you. Every follicle, every cell, you have no authority over Eva's life. In Jesus' name, COVID, weight gain, fibromyalgia over Sandra's life. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Did you hear me? Stop, devil. By faith, we believe that all things are possible. Lisa Elizabeth Lopez, arthritis in her foot, arthritis, stop. Stop. I look at the mountain and I tell it to stop. Renee, adrenal fatigue, constant exhaustion, feeling like giving up, tired. Stop, devil. Stop. I speak to the mountain. I pick it up and I'm pushing it into the sea. Don't you even show your ugly head again. It's already done by faith. According to your faith is what he told the women with the issue of blood. According to your faith, he told the blind man. According to your faith, Lord, we believe. In Jesus' name, ha, healing is in this room. Ha, ha. Thank you, Jesus. Here's how I'm going to close this morning's prayer. I feel the victory. Everybody we prayed for this morning, I feel the victory. The Lord said he is hiding you. He's going to hide you from all the attacks. All the naysayers, all the liars, all the haters. The Lord said he's going to hide you from this devil and these enemies, these these uh, principalities that are roaming the earth, that are walking the earth. He said, I'll hide you. I'll hide you. Yeah, receive it by faith. The, The attacks may come. You're going to feel the attack on the outside of the walls of this protection that you have. But it won't prosper. It won't enter in. It won't invade. Yeah, he'll even try to scare you with some scare tactics. Try to send manipulation and deception that you're going to be attacked. And that this attack is underway. But guess what? You have the full armor of God on. You are saved. You're the righteousness of God with the holiness. You have your shield. You have your your weapon. You're going to walk in peace. You know the truth. The truth has set you free this morning. And Father, we just thank you for hiding us. We thank you for healing us. That's this morning's prayer. Healing and hiding. Hiding and healing. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Healing and hiding and hiding and healing. Lord, thank you for hiding us. Thank you for hiding us, Lord, from the attacks of the enemy. Every sickness, every disease, every spirit of of infirmity headaches and cancer and fibromyalgia and diabetes. Lord, thank you for hiding us this morning from arthritis, pain, just just pain and misery. Thank you. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your rest. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your rest. Lord, thank you for an IV of the Holy Ghost this morning. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Charlie said this is her first time on. We do this every morning. We do this every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Due to work obligations, we we try to end it by 645. But every morning we believe by faith that we, we owe it to God to just give him our first fruits. Our first fruits. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden and burdened, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, everyone who's sick, everyone who needs hiding. Come to me. Bring your families to me. Bring your sons and your daughters to me. Come to me, everybody who's hurting, who's dealing with anxiety and depression, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you on me and learn of me, for I'm meek and lonely. I'll give you rest for your souls. I'll give you rest for your souls. Healing and hiding. Hallelujah. 
Today's prayer will be on YouTube later today. I load all of our prayers on YouTube. I take every prayer that's been in the chat. I screenshot it. I put it in our journal. And we continue to pray for you. Leave today knowing that no weapon formed against you will win. I don't care how it feels, how it looks. The manifestation of your healing today may be a process. God is the one that's in control. He's the one who's allowed this. Yeah, our faith believes that God has allowed all things to happen, but all things are for your good. So even our sickness, even our calamities, even our trials, even our pain, God knew in advance you could handle it or he wouldn't have allowed it. God knew in advance when the devil said, well, let me let me put put this sickness on them. God said, go ahead, because he already knew in advance that you're going to turn out and everything was going to be all right. Or he wouldn't have said, go ahead, devil. Go ahead. I trust you, Lord. That's what Job said. I trust you anyway. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to sin with my mouth. I'm not going to throw up accusations. I'm not going to say, why me? I'm not going to. No. I will worship you in your, the, the presence of your holiness and the goodness of who you are. I will worship you because you alone deserve it. That's our prayer. Hallelujah. Listen, God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Thank you for joining us this morning. We will see you again tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you.